so in today's tutorial uh, it, this isn't exactly going to be a tutorial so i just need to do a little disclaimer right so i've finally connected my joypads to unreal engine so i've got a, a normal ps4 controller that i've attached to it that's working and a xbox 360 but well this is actually a scuff controller but it's I, f I believe it's the same as a, an xbox 360 so i've got these two joypads and they're working on unreal so if i press play and move around like i'm controlling the player controlling the look around jump and all and all that stuff and this is something that i've been trying to work out how to do for a long time and and i'll try it and then don't but uh, don't get anywhere then i try something else and don't get anywhere so i'm just going to show you some of the things that um i've sort of worked out a little bit just to so, so it might help you if, if you're having the same problem basically so to start with what you want to do is you want to go up to edit go to project uh go to plugins not project set go to plugins and type raw input uh well just type raw and windows raw input will come up and you tick that and it will say restart engine now make sure that you've got the controller that you want to use um linked up already for when it restarts and then just restart now and then when the engine is restarted go back up to edit again and go to project settings not plugins this time project settings in your project settings on this left hand side scroll down until you get to plugins and raw at the bottom see it says raw input because that's one of the plugins that you've installed now I, i've already done this so you'll you'll need to do it so when it says device configurations so so what i'm saying is yours won't look like this when it's it it will look similar but yeah so where it says device configurations mine's got one one array element uh yours won't have any so you need to click this little plus sign and then when you click the plus sign the device configurations will come up and you'll have and it will look like this and you have axis properties and button properties 24 axis properties 96 uh button properties on the axis properties click that down and you see it says index 0 1 2 3 4 and all them right and i believe that the left stick is access three and access four and the right stick is access one and access two right so if you say for example open this one generic controller access one and if you open four generic uh no not four sorry uh three which will be four because it starts at zero generic access controller four right so on this it will say gamepad stick and it won't be highlighted so you just click it as a gamepad stick and you do that with access zero one two and three so on zero one two and three click gamepad stick click that right and now it won't work yet so don't don't worry about that what you need now this is where you need to go into your uh, input mappings so if you go to content draw third person and input you see imc default this is where all your mappings are so you just click that double click that to open it and on mine i've got jump move look drop sprint right so you've got move and look which is the access the the thumbsticks so if you look on mine if i open that up you've got w which is forward s backwards left right up down left right and these are on um i think up down left right i think they might be on a on a, a joypad as well but what you will have now which you didn't have before because you uh added the the plugin when you click on on this now you will have this at the bottom generic usb controller so your yours won't have these two at the bottom here yet what you need to do is you need to click plus sign and when you click the plus sign it adds uh it adds an extra mapping at the bottom see where it says none 
right? So just bear with me for a minute. We see where it says generic USB controller access free on mine. I've clicked the plus sign and added gun to generic USB controller and gun to access free on there. So that's what you need to do. Right. And then on on that, on the modifiers, click a modifier and do a dead zone and a gate and a swizzle input access. And then click another one. So click on there, the add button, and then go generic access four. And then on your modifiers, uh, I've just, so this is what, what I don't understand some of this stuff. So, so it seems to be working how I've got it now. So on my access three, I've got dead zone negate and swizzle input access values. And then on the next one that I added, I've just got a dead zone. When I play now, that left stick works. It just works. So you might have to do some experiment, some experimenting with it. So, yeah, so basically, so on my move, I've just got a generic access free with a dead zone negate and swizzle input. And then a generic access four with just a dead zone. And that seems to work. I mean, just, just sort of experiment a bit because i'm experimenting still myself to be honest i just thought i'd show you this because it's something that i've been trying to work out for a long time and now i've actually got it fully working so on the so that's on move then on look you do the same thing so you go to this little plus thing add that and then you add a generic usb controller access to and then you add, and then on that again, it's just got a dead zone. And then add another one, generic USB controller access one. And then that's just got a dead zone and swizzle input access values. See, so I'm not I'm not exactly sure what these things are doing, to be honest, but it seems to be working. And when I took one of them off, it didn't work. And and yeah, I just had to experiment a bit. The buttons uh i'll put the buttons up on the screen because i think i know exactly what the buttons are so on the jump you just go add a control binding to action mapping and then so where it says none and then you go down to generic usb controller and on the buttons it starts at button one two three so uh the x button on a on a joypad is button two so I'll put the mappings up up for that anyway. So yeah, so just for jump, I've got generic button, controller button two. And if you move around like this, I can just press X on the jump. I can look around. So yeah, I'm I'm just using the controller. I I, I I'm not sure if this this tutorial is making much sense to people, but this it should make sense if you've been trying to work this out yourself as well so um yeah one one of the big things that that made it work for me was going to the project settings and um add it, adding a device configuration so just adding the element there and then in the index of it on the axis properties clicking game gamepad stick so that was one of the big things that I was missing when I was trying to add controllers before. The big things that I was missing was going to the project settings after I've added the plugin to add a device configuration. I've watched some tutorials where they talk about vendor ID and product product ID, but um, mine seems to be working without without them things. So yeah, if 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 for example where it says gamepad stick, I tick that off then it wouldn't work so yeah I, ho I hope that makes some sense i'm just going to leave the the um the button numbers on the screen so you you'll see them now so, uh, so i'll just twiddle my thumbs while, while they're on the screen and obviously you can pause it if you need to you need to see them for longer but yeah um i hope that makes some sense to someone <laughs> But yeah, it's it's a bit of a messy tutorial, but I'm quite excited about it because I've been it, I've been 
trying to work this out for a long time. I should have probably just watched some you some tutorials, but yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you do have any questions, just ask me in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.